What's up homies, welcome back to the next video in the gunsmith lineup. This is a series that I'm putting together to kind of show you guys the quickest and easiest way to do these tasks so that you guys don't have to figure out how to do them yourselves. I don't want this video to be 10 minutes long, so let's keep it short and let's cut to the build. Now for a little task overview, Gunsmith Part 2, it's one of the easier gunsmith tasks and it's also the second one in the lineup. Your objectives are modify an AKS 74U to comply with these specifications. Now the specifications are going to be a Zenit B11 handguard, a 60 round extended magazine, it needs to be less than 6 slots, ergonomics higher than 58, needs less than 550 recoil and more than 100 sighting range. You can pretty much ignore the 6 slot thing in the sighting range because this gun's small and also most every gun in Tarkov has over a 100 sighting range. Now there's three main ways at early levels that you're going to be able to get this gun. One of the ways is proper level 1 after you've completed the task debut. Once you've completed debut, you can buy this gun for 25,000 rubles. If you have not completed debut yet, you can buy this from mechanic level 1, but it's going to be the strip version. And what I mean by that is the gun is literally naked. You have to build every part back onto the gun, meaning you're going to spend more money doing it just to get it to be able to turn it. And your third option, which is one of my favorites, is just find it on a scav run. These early gunsmith tasks are with very common guns. You can find them all the time on scavs. And usually you can just repair the durability and you can build it up the same way and turn it in the same way as everybody else who's paying more for it. Now once you've got your gun, you need to focus on the build. For this build, we're going to go with a B11 handguard because it calls for the B11 handguard. This is the only one you can put on the build. If you put any other handguard, you won't be able to turn it in. So let's go with the Zenit B11 handguard right here. Now there's two main ways that you're going to be able to get this handguard. Mechanic has a barter for this handguard. And that barter is going to be one green battery and two D batteries. Again, if you're low level, unless you have these items sitting around, it's going to be tough to find those. The easiest way is skier level one for 6,000 rubles. This is going to be contested by other players. Buy it if you can. If you can't, just wait a few minutes and try to buy it again. Once you've got the handguard, you're going to need the 60 round magazine. And it's this 60 rounder right here that we're looking for. This 6L31 60 round magazine. Now you're probably thinking, but Wubsy, there's also this RPK-16 drum that fits. And you'd be correct, but the issue is we need to keep the ergonomics high. And if you use this magazine here, it kills the ergo. It brings it down to 42, as opposed to the 6L31 being at 50. And we're going to need all of the ergo that we can get for this gun to work. So now talking about this magazine. This is the hardest part on this gun to build. This is the same magazines that you have to have for the task ice cream cones for Prapper. If you've completed ice cream cones, you should have a bartering trade from Prapper level 2. The barter is going to be one thermometer for one of these magazines. If you're low level, you might not have this done yet. You're pretty limited on options because your only other way to purchase this magazine is through Prapper level 4 for 40,000 rubles. Again, if you're low level, you don't have Prapper level 4. And that's going to bring us to the third method of getting this magazine. Scav runs. This is a very common magazine found on raiders, and you can find a lot of dead raiders with AK-74Us in the reserve bunker. Just hit a scav run, go to reserve, go down to the bunker, loot dead bodies, don't get in any fights, just loot whatever's there. If they have the magazines, get out with it. If they don't, reset and come back in. Now if you look over here at our info panel, we're still not at that 58 ergo. We still need a foregrip to get some ergo up, and we need a charging handle. So we're going to go up here, and we're going to put on this RP-1 charging handle. The RP-1 charging handle is sold by Skier Level 1. I think it's like 3,000 rubles. Okay, I was about to say 6. 3,000 rubles. Stupid cheap. Put that on the gun and you'll get a little bit of ergo boost. Now we're up to 51. We need a few more. We're going to put on this KAC vertical foregrip. Let me give you guys the big view of this so that you can see it. And you can buy this from Peacekeeper Level 1 for only 31 US dollars. And this is the whole build. I told you guys, it's super simple. The hardest part of this is finding that magazine. Once you've got the magazine, the rest of the gun should go together pretty easily. If you get hung up on the magazine, just remember to utilize those scav runs. Get down in the bunker and loot some raiders. And that's going to be it, homies. Build the gun, turn it in, get your rewards. If you like videos like this and you want to catch more of the Gunsmith videos, leave a like, subscribe. If there's something I didn't cover in this video and you want me to cover it a little more in depth, or if there's something you think I need to do differently, leave a comment. I'll start recording and be back in a few days with Gunsmith Part 3. But until then, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, homies. If you like videos like this and you want to keep up...